I'm going to be, hi Katniss. Y'all Katniss, I'm going to say hi. Come here. I'm going to let you say hi and then. Katniss says hi. Now shoot. Y'all, welcome back to another get ready with me video or maybe my first get ready with me video. So anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be getting ready. It is Friday night, the Friday before Valentine's. I don't know when this will be uploaded, but my uh, apartment complex is having, um, and I'm going to moisturize while I'm saying this, my apartment complex is having like a little Valentine's Day, some more making thing out by the fire pits and I'm going to go. Um, it's being hosted by the maintenance workers in my building and they are such a big help like anytime I need them to move furniture or put something together they always come and it is not part of their job description so I want to support their event and also it's good to you know recognize some faces of your neighbors and do a little networking so I am going to do my makeup um, and just go downstairs and do a little drive by if you will maybe for an hour or so so yeah get ready with me so I started out by moisturizing my face. I use this Advanced um, Rejuvenating Concepts Moisturizer. It's rec recommended. Can you guys see this? There you go. It was rec recommended. Rec recommended. It was recommended to me by my facialist, and I've just been using it part of my morning routine um, to do that. I still haven't had a chance to get my eyebrows done, so I'm going to go ahead and have to do my eyebrows. I'm going to start with just by outlining them with concealer my brows um, are shaded if you don't know already I've had the ombre shading done I'm gonna start with my Mac 232 concealer brush I really need to get my eyebrows done, but I went to get I went to the nail shop. I just let them wax it because it's so quick and easy. And the girl who usually does it wasn't there, nor was the lady who does my nails. So, and I need a fill in real bad. As coach is like real bad. So I'm having to figure something out to like do. And there's no one else in the shop that I like trust to do my nails. So. Oh, also special in this video, I'm going to be trying the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint Beauty by Rihanna. That's also why I wanted to do this. Get ready with me with you guys because I'm going to be trying that out for the first time. So I think this meet and greet thing is going to be a nice little way for me to get a practice run on this red. Yeah, so um, tomorrow I am having my Valentine's Day event. I'm super excited about that. I've decorated my place really cute. We're gonna be cute and do some girls night, have some games and stuff like that. I'm definitely uh, making blog posts about it. Um, so be sure to check out my blog post. I'm gonna put it in the description box below and I'm just taking the leftover concealer and going over my spots. Um, check out my blog post about Galentine's and planning you, you guys' Galentine's Day event. It's something I have been wanting to do for some time and I'm finally in a position to have the time to do it. Um, I just hate that everybody that I wanted to come couldn't come because of course they had their own plans because of the way Valentine's Day fell. So I think that if I end up doing it again that I will probably do it like the very first weekend in February. Um, Cause Valentine's Day falls on I think a Tuesday this year, so it just got really weird. A lot of people are ending up celebrating on the weekend. Plus, it's Super Bowl weekend, um, which I didn't take that into consideration. So I think that if I do do this again next year, I probably opt for the very first weekend in February just to get a better attendance rate. But it's going to be intimate. It's just a few uh, ladies, a few ladies whose company I genuinely and dearly enjoy. We're gonna have us a girls' night. A girls' night in. 
Next, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation in the shade Deep 74 Warm. And I'm going to do two, two and a half generous pumps of this. Loving it all over my face. I'll take the brush and just go in. This foundation is thick, so you kind of got to work with it quick. Because I feel like it likes to just sit in one spot. And then I just go back in, rub it all in. So yeah, I'm super sad about Valentine's. Of course, I'm going to give y'all, and I got some more furniture. I got my couch and stuff. So um, I've been doing a little shopping. So I'll, I'll give y'all an updated apartment tour. So y'all can see the decoration. I've been trying to get me consistent with those apartment tour videos. So you can kind of see the furniture as I go along. It's not, you know, building decor, getting the look that you want, getting the best price. Um, it's just all about patience. Like I've been in this place almost six months now and I'm just feeling like I'm starting to make progress and I still like it's not 100% done. Like is it ever done? Probably no, because I love being one at home goods, but it's not really ever, like it's not still 100% done, but I am making a lot of progress. I love the way that this goes on. I just feel like it's such a good, a good brown for me. Okay. Next, I'm going to be taking my Tarte 425 Sand Concealer. Just do my highlight areas. And I feel like a lot comes off in the applicator. Oh. And I just do like my beauty blender, it's dry, so I just give it a quick little, with the my MAC Fix It spray, I just get a quick little distant mist to help blend that in. Okay. Then I'm going to take some of my Laura Mercier powder, dab a bit of that, go ahead and set that. Next, I'm going to be taking my nudie stick in the deep tint and just shade in my contour. Okay, I'm take my chisel and trim F77 brush and shade that in.
gonna take my large powder brush, go back and get some of that loose translucent hair. And then I'm gonna go over my face with the MAC um, Skin Mineralized Skin Finish in the medium dark. Then I'm gonna go back to my contour, put a little bit on the brush, and just do my nose. I like to do that after I do my skin finish. Because I like to do just a little bit instead of doing the heavy and having to blend out so much. I'm gonna add some setting gel to my brows. My brows are not on fleek. I wish they were waxed. Um, I can't get this open. What the hell? Are you serious? Okay, skip that. Weird. Um, that just blew me. Anyway. Do a little lip moisturizer using the cosmetic Lumi Crystal. I'm just gonna put a little bit, tiny bit on my lips because they feel dry. Even though I'm not doing lips up right now, I'm going ahead and get them moisturized, all juiced up. Next, I'm going to add some blush, but I'm not doing blush for real because I'm wearing red. I don't want like colors to clash. So I'm going to do the Gold Deep um, Mac Skin Finish. The Gold is a Gold Deposit. No, go deposits the eyeshadow. It's like gold deep is faded. I'm not sure, but I've been wearing this for years. And I just feel like it really brings out my high cheekbones. Like the way that, look at that. Look at that. My law school roommate, she would always say, um, like when we would get ready to go out, she'd be like, go put your cheekbones on so we can go out. Because <laughs> I already have high cheekbones, but this is really makes my cheekbones pop. <laughs> And she'd be like, go put your sheet rounds on so we can go. That's her way of saying, get ready. And it's so funny to me even now. She'd be like, are you all ready to go? I'm like, I'm almost done. You got your sheet bones on. <laughs> like, is your makeup done? And that's so funny. It's the inside joke. Inside joke. So I put my cheek bones on. And then. So for the eyes. Because I'm doing um, red lip, the lip is bringing all the drama. So the eyes have to be chill. Well, I prefer the eyes to be chill. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Clip. I'm just gonna be like doing like a nudie thing um, on my brows. So here, I'm going to take my Taper Blending E40 brush and I'm not gonna use so I'm going to use my, um, is this brown down eyeshadow? I don't think things are fade, but like my MAC brown. And I'm going to put that in my crease. It's like a chocolate. Put that in my crease color. It's like a subtle... A subtle chocolatey look like I'm going for like festive but not like too sexy like I don't want to look like I'm hunting for a man because again it's like a little networking event but it is the month of love so I don't want to do a red lip um then I'm going to take my Julia's Place palette and I'm going to go with my MAC 252 large shader brush here. I'm just going to get some of this new here, this color right here. I don't know what it is, but like this new top color. Actually, this is not, is this my concealer brush? This is wrong brush. Sigma large shader E60. Yeah. And just go right back over my eyelid. I want a very mute eyelid. No shimmer, no nothing. 
because again the lip will be the drama um, now I'm going to line my waterline with the L'Oreal very lightly because I had this on too long it'll be giving raccoon eyes so I'm looking in the mirror to make sure I get this right there we go and then I'm going to line with the Stella all day waterproof liquid liner Mess up coming back on that. We gonna be all right though. We gonna be all right. We're coming along. I feel like we're coming along. What do y'all think? I'm gonna do this side. take that up a little bit more there we go sexy look girl you sexy as you want to be but you just don't want to be let me know in the comments if you know that song i am going to wear lashes i've decided but so mascara first look girl you sexy as you want to be but you just don't wanna be. I can't help you. I don't love you. I just met you. Come on now. Let me know in the comments if you know that song. Let me know. Let me know. They used to need my, my good friend. Song right there. And so... I'm feeling like, how I'm feeling? I'm feeling like I may want a little Fenty highlighter down the middle, just for a little bit more presence, a little bit more. Shimmer. more all right and now for the lip the reason why we're all gathered here today so the Fenty by Rihanna's funnel lip paint in the uncensored I can't wait to see Rihanna at the Super Bowl y'all I really just want her to do the rated R album oh that's my favorite album what's your favorite um Rihanna album let me know in the comments below oh this is pretty okay Fenty beauty this is sexy. I like this. Mm. All right, we're going to line our lips first. So, when I do my red, um, so funny story, y'all. My cousin, one year, when I was in law school, called himself giving me a birthday present. I guess at the time, he had some kind of makeup plug or whatnot, if you will. Y'all, so he had me some MAC lips. They weren't real, like bootleg MAC lips. When I tell you these lip glosses smelled like oil that go in a car, 
real bad. But the red, I don't have it anymore because I want better for my life, but the red one was so pigmented and so pretty. I held on to it to, for a long time until one day I opened it and it smelled like it smelled like used oil coming out of a car. And I had to real have a real conversation with myself. I was like, Crystal, I know that you don't feel like shopping for your shade of red in the store. And I know that, you know, you really like the look that this gives you. But what the hell are you putting on your skin? And the answer to that was, you don't know. And I knew it was fake. It was no doubt about it. It was, it stank. It came in like this funny shade too that Matt can never release. The consistency, it was just... Again, I, I've been shopping at MAC since I was a teenager. Like, you know how we, all you could afford was like the lip liner with the, gla the glass MAC. I've been doing that. MAC ain't never made no lip gloss bottles that was shaped in this weird shape. <laughs> it didn't even come in a box or nothing. Like, I don't know if he bought it off a truck or what, but it was such a pretty red on me. But like I said, I had to let it go because I want better for myself. So when I'm applying my red, I like to go over with the brown. So that's what I'm doing. I'm lining with my everyday chestnut. First. And then go back in with my Mac. He said, she said red liner. And I don't know what to expect from this Fenty, y'all. So we gonna find out together. And I just go behind that that brown. Now I usually would do when I was doing the bootleg Mac, I would do Mac Brave Red lipstick and then put the bootleg Mac on top of it. But I'm really about to find out what this is about. This is literally my first time opening this and trying this out with y'all. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on. This applicator looks interesting. We gonna look at her next on. Okay. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, we sexy. I like this. That's my lip brush. It's not as thick as the bootleg Mac was, so I already feel like it. it, it I've already feel it kind of like it feels a little runny. Shades is right for all the brown skin. This is sexy. I like this. Hey, girl. Mm. Come here, rude boy, boy. Oh shit! I'm fucking up. Okay, we'll get that later. Okay. With just a little bit. Fucks with it. I guess we'll have to see how long it it lasts. This is what giving it's giving keeper. It's giving keeper, okay. Let's take my small. Look up on my small concealer brushes. I like to um whenever I'm wearing anything like like a lip, like a color, I want to line. I just feel like lining with the concealer makes it pop. Just gives you a clean, just a tad bit. Okay. This is, I'm, I'm feeling this. <laughs> I'm feeling this. Oh shit, I can do it, y'all can't see it. I got the 
mirror all up here. Sorry, y'all. I'm gonna do this. But hell, I did the bottom. I'm gonna do the top. And then I'm gonna go back over there with my foundation brush and just get that out. So. Perfect. 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 Mm. Now. Do a little MAC Fix Plus on my large powder brush and just go over my powder area. I feel like I could, uh, I feel like I belong to Christina Aguilera. He's a, he's a sweet and chocolate sugar for the candy man. Like that old school 50s realistic pinup girl look. I feel like that's what I got. Got those lips like candy cane. Okay, y'all. I know I need to quit lashes. He's a one-stop shop. Make my panties drop. I just thought of somebody when I said that. <laughs> Oh man, y'all. Have you ever had someone that be like, what the heck? What the heck? We need to do a chit chat, get ready with me, because this one is all almost over, y'all. But one day I'm gonna tell y'all about once upon a time there was this man, this young man. This mythical creature. No, he wasn't a mythical creature. But. There was this man who. We thought was a man. But he was really half man, half. Horse. I'll tell y'all that story on another get ready with me chit chat or get unready with me let's see oh that's a good idea maybe when i get back from the mixer it shouldn't be too late maybe i could um we could take this off together do a get ready with i mean uh we can get unready we can take this off together and do a little good good ass nighttime skin routine i can tell y'all about the half man half horse all right, so doing thin lashes on is like a surgical procedure for me because I'm just not that good at it. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be having a mirror up to my face. I am not the person to watch when it comes to putting on lashes. It's like surgery. All right, let's just need to flat iron my U parts. Part it. So guys, I flat ironed my wig and this is what we're doing tonight. It's just a little basic you part bust down or whatever. So yeah, this is the look tonight and can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.